Hi guys, so uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you is um, that uh, when you program or uh, describe uh, an electric electronic circuit on an FPGA, the, the way we've been doing with the Scott CPU, it can produce um, a schematic for you automatically uh, that shows everything you, you've programmed. So it's really cool and I wanted to look uh, a bit at it with you guys. So I'm going to start by zooming quite a bit because it's uh, really, really small. Hopefully you can see uh, a bit better now. So if we look in this top corner here, uh, we can see that the first thing we see is we have the flags register that is uh, here. So if I go and open this guy up, we can see that uh, the flag register is composed of a byte and an enabler. Now if we open both of these up, we can see all the different components that uh, make up basically uh, the byte and the enabler. If we go inside the byte like this, now uh, we will see that uh, it's can created by connecting uh, four NAND gates together. And if we deep, go deep inside, ultimately we end up with what is being uh, instantiated inside of the FPGA. Uh, namely, in this case, a NAND and a, a NOT to create a NAND gate. So the, the, the software recognized that I was trying to make a NAND gate and it created it out of uh, an AND and a NOT. So if we close up all this and we navigate a little bit more, we see uh, another bunch of registers here. Here we have the ALU, uh, which we won't open up because it's, it's uh, quite big and messy inside. Uh, if we continue going around here we have the memory so the RAM if we open it up we will see that it's uh, comprised of a whole bunch basically all the different 256 cells of RAM are, are here being instantiated in the unit we can also see uh, if we go a bit more here we have the instruction address register now we have R3, R2, R1, R0, all our registers from the circuit. The instruction register is down here. And uh, finally in this corner we have the clock. Reset is a circuit that I made to enable the board to reset itself. And ultimately here we have all the I.O. stuff and uh, the clock and the stepper that are uh, uh, programmed down here. So if we look at the clock, we'll see the clock and the stepper, they're pretty much uh, circuit that have been redesigned, so they use a lot more native components of the uh, FPGA. If we look at the step stepper, we'll see the same thing. The stepper is kind of nice because you can see it's implemented using a shift register. Uh, so all in all, very few native parts that are used because everything is built from NAND gates in, uh, in John's design. So to, uh, to finish, I'm gonna, we're going to look at the control unit. Let me just find it because it's kind of big. And this is where basically everything is happening. All the connections. I'm going to have to zoom out now because it's so, uh, so massive and you can see all of the uh, connections that are inside the control unit that make all the instructions work together so uh, that's it uh, it basically uh, shows that um, when you can construct a circuit like this it makes a schematic for you which is really nice and uh, allows you to see exactly how the circuit uh, has been implemented inside uh, the FPGA. Thank you.